Hello everyone and thank you for joining us with this instructional video. My name is Dr. Louis Arriaga. I am Senior Vice Chair for Longevity. And what we're going to talk about today in the next few minutes is we're going to talk about how you can get the best, how you can maximize the benefits of the True to Life Liver Detox, which is one of the lines in the Longevity brand. Now, it is one of the verticals. It is the Liver Detox vertical. Now, before I begin this, I want to make sure that you understand that everything we do is always in conjunction with the 90 for Life. The 90 for Life is our flagship products. The minerals, the vitamins, the amino acids, the essential fatty acids, and the antioxidants is what the body needs every single day to replenish, to regenerate, and to revitalize, and to give us the best opportunity so we can be optimally healthy. But after time, uh, what happens is that our body becomes very, very toxic. And one of the best ways to detoxify the body, the, one of the most efficient ways, and one of the fastest ways is through the, through the liver, true to life liver detox system. So I want to first let you know that there is no two day system. Sometimes my wife, Veli and I, we get calls and people ask us about the two days or the one day. I've even heard of the, of the 24 hour liver detox system. There is no 24 hour system. There is no two day system. There's no three day system. The liver detox is a 30 day liver detox system. And I'm going to explain to you how this works. It's very simple, and Longevity has done such a fabulous job. I mean, you, you really have to try and not to do this well because they have designed a calendar. So you can put this on your refrigerator, and you all you have to do is go day by day. They even added pictures in Spanish and English. So there's really not any reason for us to do it wrong, and if we do it right, the results are going to be extraordinary, I guarantee you. So let's just say that you are, it is a Friday, it is Thursday evening, and you're gonna do this Friday. Because you do, my recommendation is for the following day for you to be at home. Okay, and I'm gonna to explain to you why as I, as I go into this. So you're, you wake up Friday morning, because Friday morning is, gonna, is going to be the day that you're going to detoxify your liver and purge the stone from your gallbladder. So in the morning when you wake up, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take an enzyme. These truezymes are both metabolic and digestive. What does that mean? That means that when you take this and there's substance in your stomach, it's going to serve as a digestive enzyme. Now the beautiful thing about this is that you don't have to be, you don't have to take multiple enzymes. There's enzymes to digest fats, lipase. There's di enzymes to digest carbohydrates. There's digest, uh, di uh, enzymes to digest proteins. These are all put into one. So all you do in the morning, when you begin this, the first day, you're going to take one enzyme on an empty stomach as soon as you wake up with a nice tall glass of water. Now, if there's nothing in your tummy, it's going to serve as a metabolic enzyme. Now, a metabolic enzyme is very, very powerful, especially when you're dealing with situations that have some type of inflammatory process to them. What happens is that this enzyme is going to go into the stomach. It's going to see that there's no food to digest. So then it's going to become like a scavenger and it's going to hunt around the entire body for the residual of inflammation. The residual of inflammation is scar tissue. Scar tissue is what creates all the problems with inflammatory conditions. Let me give you an example of inflammatory condition would be like uh, ankylosing spondylitis is an inflammatory condition. Systemic lupus erythematosus, or lupus, is an inflammatory condition. Rheumatoid arthritis is an inflammatory condition. A sprained strain, all of those fall under the umbrella of inflammatory conditions. So when you take this enzyme in the morning, on the first day, Friday morning, you take the enzyme in the morning, and if there's nothing, no substance, no material in the stomach, it's going to convert itself into the metabolic enzyme, and the metabolic properties are going to go and eat up all the remaining scar tissue, which is phenomenal to really increase mobility, increase flexibility, and decrease pain. So this serves both digestive and metabolic purposes. You're going to take one enzyme every morning on an empty stomach, and you will take one enzyme 15 minutes before lunch, and you're going to do this for the next 30 days. You're not going to do this for a day or two days. You're going to do this for 30 days. So there's 60 enzymes here. You're going to take two a day, one in the morning on empty stomach and one 15 minutes before lunch. So that morning, what you're going to do 
is you're going to take the liver prep, which is this powder, and you're going to put it into 24 ounces of water. You're going to mix it very, very well. You're going to store it in the refrigerator. Don't worry about it. Go, go about and go about your day as you normally would. Okay, so you put this liver prep, which is the powder. These, these three products come in, in this liver pure box. The powder you're going to put into 24 ounces of water. In the morning, you're going to store it in the, in the refrigerator. You're going to go about your day. You're going to have a very clean breakfast. And you're going to have a very clean lunch. Clean meaning you're going to avoid fast foods. You're going to avoid fatty foods. You're going to avoid fried foods. You're going to avoid all the, the, the junk foods. Okay, you want to avoid, you want to decrease on the dairy. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to just eat as healthy as possible for your breakfast and for your lunch. Here's the first pearl of wisdom when taking this product. At 2 o'clock, Friday afternoon at 2 o'clock, you're going to stop eating and drinking everything, including water. The reason being is you need to give your liver time to adjust and time so it can prepare itself to purge. As long as you're drinking and eating, the liver is functioning. Everything that you drink and eat has to go through the liver be before it goes into the general circulation. So therefore, we want to give the, we give the liver time to purge. So at 2 o'clock, you're going to stop eating and drinking everything. Now, just a little side note. If you have things going on and you start at 3, that's okay. You have to wait 4 hours. So if you start at 2, you got to wait 4 hours. If you start at 3, you still have to wait 4 hours. So if you miss the 2 o'clock deadline, if you're running late and you're having lunch at 2, then start at 3. It's not, it's not a big deal at all, okay? So let's just say, though, that you started at 2. So you had a clean breakfast, you had a clean lunch, and at 2 o'clock, you stopped eating and drinking everything. At 6 p.m., you're going to go back to that 24-hour uh, ounces of water mixture that you put, that you put this, this in, and you're going to drink 6 ounces at 6 o'clock. That's all you're going to do. 6 ounces at 6 o'clock and do nothing else. You're going to repeat that at 8 o'clock. So you've taken 6 ounces at 6 o'clock. Then you're going to take 6 ounces at 8 o'clock. Now, from my experience, when you take the 6 ounces of the liver prep at 6 o'clock, nothing happens. But from my experience, when you take the 6 ounces at 8 o'clock, there's a good percentage of people that they're going to start feeling a little rumbling in the stomach. They're going to start feeling a little parasolsis in the stomach. The stomach's going to start moving around and start, maybe some, some of the bowels are going to start to loosen just a little bit. Some people may have the, the, the desire to go to the restroom. Many aren't at this time. At 10 p.m., I repeat this, 6 o'clock, 6 ounces of liver prep. 8 o'clock, 6 ounces of, of the liver prep. At 10 p.m., you're, gonna, you're going to open up the liver clean. You're going to open it up and you're going to pour all the contents of this lemon into the liver clean. Then you're going to cut half a grapefruit or half a, a half of lemon and you're going to squeeze it into the liver clean. The purpose is to cut the viscosity and change slightly the texture of the oil. Now, someone asked me, they said, you know, the, this is too acidic. Can I just take the oil? The answer is yes, you can just take the contents in here. The, goal, the, the, the magic is in here. The magic is not here. This just helps to digest it. It changes the flavor and it changes the viscosity, it changes the thickness. Me personally, I have to put all of this plus half a grapefruit or half a lemon, but that is up to you. And the key component, remember, you stop eating and drinking everything at two o'clock. Second pearl of wisdom is you want to do this with a straw because the texture is a little different. The texture is very, very interesting, and some people may not like the texture. But if you can put this with a, if you put a straw here and you put the straw behind your taste buds, most of your taste buds are in the anterior two thirds of your tongue. If you put it behind your taste buds, you're not going to taste anything, and you want to take it down as quickly as possible. Immediately after that, this is when the fun begins. Immediately after that, what you are going to do is you're going to lay on your right hand side. That's where the liver and that's where the gallbladder is. You're going to lay on the right hand side and hopefully you're going to fall asleep that way. 
Now, if you're not a right side sleeper, if you're a tummy down or on your back or left hand sleep, side sleeper, what you want to do is you want to lay on your right hand side for at least an hour and a half. You want to give this an, an opportunity to go through the small intestine into the large intestine into the ascending colon. At the ascending colon, it's going to connect and it's going to begin to encapsulate all the toxins from the liver and it's also going to create a vasodilation of the common bile duct which connects the liver to the gallbladder and that's what's going to cause it to contract and spill that those those toxic stones into your intestine and out through your bowels now you are never going to feel any of this your your bowels are going to be very very loose and i want you to understand and i say this joking jokingly but you're going to see things you've never seen and you may have a scent that you've never smelled. So I personally recommend people to choose a restroom far from the rest of the family. Okay, you wanna be, you wanna be compassionate to the rest of the family because you're gonna see and you're gonna smell something that's pretty interesting. And that is years and years and years of toxins that have been stored in your body that could have possibly be the, the difference, the disconnect between you and optimal health between you and a more efficient digestive system, between you and a more efficient endocrine system. So here, let me go over the highlights. Highlight number one, eat clean. Highlight number two, at two o'clock, stop drinking and eating everything. Highlight number three, at six, you're gonna take six ounces. At eight, you're gonna take another six ounces. So now you have 12 ounces of the mixture in the rest, in the, in the, in the refrigerator. At 10, you're gonna, you're gonna put the lemon in here along with half a lemon, half a, or half a grapefruit, squeeze it in, shake it vigorously, put a straw, take it all the way down. And the most important thing is you're going to lay on your right hand side for at least an hour and a half and allow this to do what it's supposed to do, which is going to purge the liver, pump the liver, encapsulate the stones, vasodilate the common bile duct, pull the stones out of the gallbladder, and you're going to start having bowel movements. Normally, people have anywhere from three to five, even six bowel movements that night, and they're pretty intense. So I'm just kind of giving you a, a, a warning here. They're, they're, they're pretty intense. Now, just in case you have no bowel movements, or just in case you have one or two, as soon as you wake up, remember the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your enzymes. Now, you still have 12 ounces of this mixture in your refrigerator. If you've only had one, no bowel movements or one or two bowel movements, you're gonna take six ounces as soon as you wake up, then you're gonna finish the six ounces two hours later, and then the bowel movements, so should, your bowel should loosen and you should go to the restroom and purge the, purge the stones. If you've had three, four, or more bowel movements, you do not need to finish the other 12 ounces because that means that your liver has purged whatever's gonna purge on this one on this first time, and we've accomplished our goal. Okay. Now on this on that next day, which is going to be Saturday, the second day, you're going to have a very, very light lunch. And for dinner, you're gonna have one straw pack of this true cleanse. This is vital. Many people ask us, well, you know, we can go online and we can kind of figure out some type of body detox or an intestinal detox or even liver detox, that's not really the key component because one, all of these products are enzymatically based. Two, whenever you purge your liver, there's always gonna be a 15 to 20 to 25% spillover into your general circulation. And that's why you need to take the true cleanse because the true cleanse has natural, natural proprieties that are going to go into your lymphatic system and finish the pumping action for the next 30 days so you can get all the toxins out of your body. If you only use the liver detox, I, I highly do not recommend that because you're going to bring toxins into your body, a small percentage, but still we want you to be toxic free. So therefore the, the health, the nutrition products can do what they're supposed to do. That's why on the second day, you're, gonna, you're going to put a straw pack into anywhere from 12 to 24 ounces of water. You're gonna sip it for like the next hour. That is going to be your dinner the second day. So the second day, you're gonna wake up, you're gonna take your enzymes, you're gonna finish the, the liver prep if you have to, you're gonna have a light lunch, and, and for dinner, you're gonna have a straw pack with 12 to 24 ounces of water according to your taste. Now you may be, you may be thinking, well gosh, that means 
that from two in the afternoon the previous day to the evening the next day, I've only had a small lunch. I understand. And you may even feel a little hungry. The key component is the enzymes. The enzymes are what's going to get you through the system because the enzymes, if they go in and there's no nothing to, to metabolize, it's going to actually start to metabolize the stored fat. And that is one of the key components to this. So therefore, that is really the true life liver detox. If you do this, and for the remaining of the month, you're gonna follow the calendar, okay? Because there's a couple of days every other week where you're only going to have the true life, uh, the true cleanse. Now, I know that you're going to feel a little hungry. I want you to understand one thing about hunger. Most of our hunger feelings are habitual. It's not, and nothing's going to happen to our body if we're a little hungry. Actually, we have a saying in our culture that says, hunger makes us younger. There's a lot of people, a lot of very, very fit people that take care of their bodies, that take care of their health, that once or twice a month, they will fast the 24 hours just to allow the digestive system to relax a little bit. So these, these couple of days of fasting that you're going to do over the next 30 days, they're actually going to benefit you on a lot of different levels. They are going to benefit your health. They're going to benefit your digestive system. You're, they're going to benefit your endocrine system. And you're going to see that you're going to start breaking certain addictions that's going to help you after your 30 days it's going to help you to look at food differently. It's going to help you to look at health differently. And that is the goal. Now, many people ask us, can we not take our 90 for life while we're doing the liver detox? Absolutely not. From 2 o'clock to the next morning, you can't take anything. But the next morning, you immediately start on your 90 for life. You start on your BTT. You start on your omegas. You start on your osteofex. After that, you're going to take this the way you normally take this. Your selenium, your glucagel, your immortality, whatever system you're on, whatever, whatever package you're on, you're going to take it. You're not going to take it that first day from 2 o'clock until the following morning. Okay, guys? So I really hope that this blesses you. We have seen that this has helped thousands and thousands and thousands of people. If you do this well, you're going to see a radical change in your health. Again, my name is Dr. Louis Harriada, and uh, thank you so much.